I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I don't even know how to feel right now. I've been... I've been... Sitting here wondering for the last two hours if this is real life, if this really just happened. I've been playing DFS like six years now, seven years. I learned, you know, I didn't know much when I started as like the rest, rest of you. However, you, you live, you learn, you play, you lose. You win, you lose more than you win, and then you learn as you go. In all my life playing DFS, I've never seen a person not come back into a game because they had a stomach ache. I mean, daily fantasy sports is a worldwide thing. Everybody knows about it. Everybody knows what's happening. Referees, coaches, players. For you not to go back in the game because your stomach hurt. This has got to be a joke. It's got to be a joke. <sighs> I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to be honest with you. That wasn't right. I'd rather they lie to us, tell them some body part is broken, this finger, he broke his finger or something. Tell me something. You really put down, you really type, typed out, Anthony Davis won't come back because of stomach ache. People spend their hard earned money to play DFS, to flip their money. To do whatever it is. And these people think it's a joke. I'm going to tell y'all guys something right now. And you know. Some of you have been rocking with me since I started. Some of you are new. I'm going to let you know something right now. I DM'd Anthony Davis on Instagram. I had to let him know. I had to, you know. I, I sent him an essay. I let him know. I let him know what I let him know. If he responds to me. I'll update you guys. But. I'm at a loss for words. He didn't come back in the game. On a, on a whatever game slate it was, on a Saturday night, he didn't come back in the game because he had a stomach ache. Not only DFS, not only fantasy sports, what about your teammates? What about your teammates that's already down? A lot of players. Impactful players. What about them? I look at AD differently now, and you know what? I was I was I was decided to put him with Luca in. Cause you know something? If I would have picked Paul, Chris Paul, Luca, Westbrook, anybody else, I would have picked. They would have played through a stomachache. Anthony Davis. I don't know if if I don't have to play him. I'm not playing him anymore. I'm not going to play him anymore because it's not worth it. If he don't care, I don't care. And he showed us a lot tonight. My man did not come back in the game because he had a stomach ache. Wow. Wow. All right, I had to get that out of the system. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another NBA video. I don't even want to make yeah, I don't even want to make this video. I was so done with the NBA, you guys have no idea. But welcome back. We're gonna I'm just gonna push through this. And you know I'm trying to come through with the video early. Tomorrow Sunday it's gonna be football. It's gonna be basketball, family day. You know I, I care about what I'm doing. I care about getting you guys correct information and and good play so you guys could win money but like hey that guy want me money but when the NBA does what it does like it kind of defeats the purpose anyway where are we 
All right, boys and girls. Um, you guys know the drill. I'm give you, we're gonna start with DraftKings, move over to FanDuel, and then jump to Super Draft. I'm out of my mind right now. I'm out of my mind. I think I might need to take some shots. Something. This is crazy. All right. All right, we're doing point guard. We're doing point guard. Curry versus the Rockets. 10-7. You're going to need roughly 60 fantasy points against Houston. I'll pass. Donovan Mitchell. You're going to need about 50 fantasy points. About 45-50. I pass. We got Murray, 9.1K. You need about 46 fantasy points, 47 against OKC. Um, we'll come back to him, Dejounte. Lamelo, 8.9 against the Clippers. You're gonna need about 44 fantasy points. Aaron Fox, he's not even in their realm. I don't know why he's there. Shy Gildress, he's been a little bit better. 8 6. You're going to need about 45 fantasy points. You're going to need about 45 fantasy points. Cole Anthony, RJ Barrett, Conley, Drew Holiday. I don't even know if Drew Holiday's starting. Drew Holiday don't even know if Drew Holiday's starting. Kevin Porter. These prices are sick. Colin Sexton, Jalen Green. Jalen Suggs price is dropping. I have to go to the Dejounte Murray to be honest with you. We'll do the Dejounte. Is that Dejounte or Shy Gilders? Let's do Shy Gilders. He's a little bit cheaper. You need less from him. Shooting guard. I played Karis Levert the other day. That didn't work out so well. Did it at 6,800. Seven. 69, he needs about 35, 36 fantasy points. Well, I'm going to go to Giddy. Giddy does a little bit of everything. And I like players that do a little bit of everything. Because when their shot is not falling, rebounds and assists can take you over the top. 32 minutes, 2 of 9. 8 rebounds, 8 assists, 1 block, 3 steals. Still 33 fantasy points. So what would have happened if he would have hit some of his shots? Exactly my point. Take Josh Giddy. Paul George, 10 4 against Charlotte. That should be a good back and forth. But I'm not paying 10 4. I mean, I don't feel the need for him right now to play 10 4. To pay 10 4. Miles Bridges, you need about 42, 43 fantasy points. That's what he's averaging. I'll pick him up. Why not? We got Giannis. You'll need about he's eleven five. You'll need about sixty fantasy points from Giannis against Washington. He can definitely give it to you. But it's a big slate. Let's do. Draymond didn't play the fourth quarter the last game. I'm going to pay down a little bit because I know there's a center that I'm going to want to play. Wendell Carter, 6'3". They took Mobamba. Mobamba must be a center. That's cool. Kelvin Johnson, get him out of here. Franz against Utah. I'll pass. Okay, we're not, we're not playing now. So we're going to have to get somebody in this. Daddy is young. It's 5,700. 
I want to know what they're smoking. We're going to pick up Wendell Carter. That's because I want, I want, I want Jared Allen. Jared Allen's been on the uptake. The last game, he only had 41. But his last three fantasy points are 56, 55, and 41. He cost 7-1. At 7-1, you need about 36 fantasy points. He had a he had an okay game to have 41 fantasy points. He only took six shots. He took six shots and had 41 fantasy points. I'm taking Jared Allen. If you guys actually listen to, listen to the logic before the picks, you'll understand how to play DFS a little bit more. Some people like to fast forward just to the picks. They're not hearing the they're not hearing the, the logic behind it. And that's the real gem of this. It's not the people that I'm picking. It's why I'm picking them. But if you don't listen to the video, you'll never hear that. So, listen, I know we're all busy. Nobody really has time to sit and watch a video. If you do have time, listen to my logic of why I play, who I play, and when I play them. Um, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck. Right, so now I'm happy going into to I'm happy going into war with these these soldiers because I know they 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 play both sides of the ball. If they don't particularly score, they they'll rebound and assist. And you know, and like I said, he had six shots, forty one fantasy points. He hit two shots. He had thirty something fantasy points. That's all you're looking for. You're looking for players that do everything that's not at a crazy price point. He's averaging what he needs to score. He's averaging that. That's great. 8-6, a little pricey, but he's been playing better. If Oklahoma stays close to San Antonio, he'll play. He, he'll he'll put up his numbers. Um, if you're new here, that's what we do. We talk NBA DFS. We talk through it. We explain why we're picking who we're picking. We try to print money. And, ex and if you're new here, please excuse my rant. But AD really hit a nerve that I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm sad. I'm confused. All in one. Anyway, hit the thumbs up. Hit, no, hit the bell so you know when I drop a video. Subscribe. And hit the and hit the thumbs up button if you're learning something. If you find this video interesting, it helps me out. It helps circulate the video to other members, other you, other viewers, so we could build a DFS army. That's all. Let's get to Fanduel. Fanduel, we're gonna start a point guard. Staff is actually reasonable at ten. We give you five times value that's 50 he's averaging 46 against Houston Bradley Bill Kuzma takes a lot of shots then when he takes a lot of shots averaging 40 fantasy points a game shy at 7-6 is a good price Malcolm Brogdon is sick I'm not touching him. He might have a stomach ache too. I'm good, bro. De'Aaron Fox isn't really hasn't been there. De'Aaron Fox, um, Donovan Mitchell at 8K, five times value is 40 points. He's averaging 40 points. Let's see what else is out here. 10-8. 10 8 for, for Paul George means that you're going to need about 55 60 fantasy points. Surely, you can surely get that facing um, Charlotte, but I don't think we need him today. Might just go Donovan Mitchell. I want y'all to listen to me when I say this to you. Donovan Mitchell is matchup proof. Donovan Mitchell could play against any defense and drop 40, 50, 60 fantasy points. Alright, Giannis, 
11-3. He's going to need about 60 fantasy points against Washington. Actually, um, I don't think we need him. I'm going to do Harrison. I'm going to do Harrison Barnes. I like him and Bridges. I like Giannis too. But Barnes is a little bit better. And Barnes is another one. If he's not hitting his shot, he'll grab rebounds. He'll get assists. He'll get his blocks. Power forward. Christian Wood. Montrezl. Lost his appeal. Gafford is back and starting. I want to do Jared Allen. These are 5,800. 5, 5, and at center, I'm going to do. Tremont is actually a wonderful. He's, a, he's an amazing fantasy player. Tremont is an amazing fantasy player. I want you guys to know that because he doesn't score. And he's like 35 fantasy points minimum if he plays his minutes. I like Mobley here at 6,000. You need 30 from him. That's what he's averaging. Wendell Carter's nice, but he's playing Gobert. Traymon at 7-4. Let's do Mobley because you're getting... The same type of, um, almost the same type of um, production, but for a cheaper price. So you got Mobley, Allen, Harrison Barnes, Donovan Mitchell, Shai Gilgis, and you're left with exactly 5,800. That's actually not bad. Okay, guys, let's go to Super Draft. Let's make a quick lineup. Let's get out of here. I appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, watch the video. I try to make this quick, but I need to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. Garland's been decent. Josh Giddy 1.5. Kelly Uber's been really good off the bench, but I don't trust him. Derek Rose, Jordan Poole has actually been reliable. Let's do. I like Reggie Jackson, but let's see something. I'll do Damian Mitchell. Forward. Giannis had a 1, it's not bad. Paul George had a 1.1, not bad. Julius Randle at a 1.1. They're going to need him against Cleveland. Bridges 1.3. Draymond 1.3. Center is going to be Jared Allen at a 1.3. So you got Shy Gilgis 1.25, Giddy 1.5, Metro 1.2, Randall 1.1, Bridges 1.3, and um, Draymond 1.3. Also, Jared Allen 1.3. Alright, that's the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys' time. Good luck with NFL, good luck with NBA. You know the deal. Um, any questions, any comments, throw it in the chat. You want to ask me something private, Instagram and Twitter link. If you're new, hit the bell, subscribe. That helps me. Thumbs up. That helps me. That lets YouTube know that I'm trying to help you print money. It lets, it lets YouTube know that my videos are helpful and interesting. And I'm really trying, guys. Um, 
what a night. I'm going to take some shots and curl up in my bed like fried shrimp. Alright, boys and girls, thank you for your time. I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and good luck. Ciao.